Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here. Doing a quick update here. Well, doing a quick little video of a turbo part I bought here. And uh, please excuse me, this is my first time using my cell phone here to film and just uploading straight to YouTube. So there's zero editing on this. But let's get started. So here I have a compressor housing. And uh, this is the GT4088R style. I bought it with a billet compressor wheel and the backing plate. Here's the mounting hardware on how it secures the backing plate to the cover. But uh, anyway, I bought this from uh, Turbo Labs America on his eBay store for $375 with everything you see here. The O ring is included. So uh, I posted up a little thing on powerstroke.org. And, uh, you know, it, <clears throat> uh, it just kind of, it is a pretty cheap cover here. And somebody had referenced it, uh, being not very, of not very good quality. So I am actually going to post this to them. Hope he looks at it and tells me what he thinks. Cause I don't really know what I'm looking at with turbos. So I'm kind of at other people's bay right now for how it all is. But anyway, here is the outside of it. I guess this is the silencer ring area here with the holes drilled in. And down there you can see the lip. So there's this is not all sealed off or anything. So if it's a silencer ring, I imagine it doesn't work very well. <laughs> here is the backside machining. And I've never had a turbo apart, so I don't know what the covers are supposed to look like. Or anything like that there's again that's the backing this right here backing plate to it so uh, here is what the inside of it looks like sorry try to get the camera to focus there again I'm using my phone and just uploading this right to YouTube so um, by no means is inside there very smooth there's a good shot but I don't know that um, the stock turbo is any better. Not that I'm going for stock, but uh, just not sure. Again, you know, I want to hear what this, what the other guys are saying. It seems like really good quality to me. Now, over here, he did machine or file away. It looks like part of the cover. I imagine that interferes with something on the stock power stroke turbo and you can also see here it was filed away on the backing plate but other than that it lines up well uh, I don't know if I can get this I'll have to turn it over to get that piece back out and the billet compressor wheel underneath here it says GT4088R the size of it is an 11 blade. Just trying to give you guys a good shot here. Blade profile and everything. It's a single plane, which for the diesel trucks I like. Uh, I guess the dual planes do flow more, but I don't think the diesel trucks have uh, the RPM band to really utilize that. And just because I wasn't sure how this part happened, uh, to show you guys one of them. You take one of these bars, you line it up with two of these, and then you put your two bolt. Oh, sorry. A little harder to do one handed than it looks. So, and you do that all the way around. I guess uh, some some vehicles will use only three of the bars instead of four. It's still supposed to be fine. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked this short little video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this upgrade. And uh, we'll see <clears throat> how it uh, goes from here. So should work really well. And uh, again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. 
Let us know what you guys want to see in future videos. And don't forget to check uh, Turbo Lab America out. He uh, seems like a really nice guy. I've gotten to talk to him a little bit and uh, plan to talk to him a little more and hopefully at some point have him kind of chime in on the phone about his products, specifically this one since I am using it, and uh, tell us more about it that I probably don't know. So thanks again, guys. Bye.